Hey Pisces, it's Goddess Puff and these are secrets you need to know. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Pisces. What secrets oh, do my Pisces need to know at this very moment in time, Spirit? What secrets does Pisces need to know at this very moment in time? All right, let's see. We have magpie addiction. So someone has an addiction that you don't know about. Fox cunning, they hide it very well. I also feel like this person's addicted to you. Maybe, oh, for some of you, this person, when they come around, you always have a piece of jewelry missing, okay? Just, just letting you know, it's them. We have new urgency or even your phone. Okay, so if you lost your phone or lipstick or um, jewelry when you were with this person, they stole it. The person who helping you look for it, they stole it. I don't know why I'm getting a GPS. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, overall energy is uh, Raven Determination. Look at how it's always two animals in these pictures. Look, the, the magpie, the fox, even the newt has like four. Like this person is always with you. This is your right hand man, ride or die, whatever. They're stealing from you. They're stealing your, your network connections. They're stealing your jewelry. They're stealing from you. But they're doing it in like increments, in little increments, small increments, so that you don't notice. They're stealing your connections. They're stealing your jewelry. This person's stealing from me. I don't know why I keep getting a GPS. I don't know if you're in the car and you're listening to me through the speaker while you, while you have your GPS on. But yeah, let me get into the tarot and see what this is for Pisces. Secrets that Pisces need to know. What secrets does Pisces need to know at this very moment in time, Spirit? What secrets do my beautiful Pisces need to know at this very moment in time? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the High Priestess. Pisces, there you are. So you're already capable, equipped with the knowledge you know. So yes, you're already aware of this person's addiction, the history of addiction. You already know. Maybe this person's addicted to shopping. They got to have the latest stuff so they can feel secure in themselves. Maybe, you know, this person has low self-esteem. So they have to like boost themselves by doing other stuff or they're insecure about one thing and they make up for it with um, jewelry and clothes and having the best or biggest house or biggest car nicest car um we have the hermit card virgo and you know this person is actually really shy actually very insecure but with the high priestess and the hermit i mean you are just you got all the knowledge here all your inner wisdom and inner guidance is from within you don't even need me to do this reading for you to be honest everything you need to know about this situation is already within you yeah we have the knight of pentacles so you could work with a virgo or another pisces your seven wands telling you to protect yourself from this person. I also feel like someone here has protection, like legal protection in place, maybe a contract or a waiver in place so that um, they aren't liable of something. All liability will fall on someone else. Someone has protected themselves legally through contract. Over energy is the queen of wands. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So a fire sign is protecting someone Someone has a really good lawyer or a really good clause in place so that like they're protected. They're good. Their work is protected. Copywritten. Make sure you copyright your work. After you write up something or anything that you create or do before you show anyone, copyright it. Because this person is a kleptomaniac and they gonna steal. All right, clarify this message for Pisces. Clarify this message for Pisces. Clarify this message for my beautiful Pisces. I feel like you have a prototype in your home. This person will steal that. And if it's worth anything, they'll get a copyright and claim it as their own. All right, clarify the high priestess is the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Yeah, you have million dollar ideas, Pisces. You have like really good ideas. 
if you put your ideas in a book, get that copyright so no one can steal them. And two of pentacles, you have million dollar ideas in so many different sectors, so many different topics. You have so many different hobbies and creative ventures that you're really good at. You could be good at dancing, painting, singing, writing, rapping all at once. You have like multiple endeavors, multiple things that you're really good at. And this person with addiction, this person wants like, or maybe you are, you have really good luck and you always win at um at bets maybe when you go to the casino or if you get a lottery ticket you always win a certain amount of money it doesn't matter if it's ten dollars or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars you always win and this person is trying to like get they're trying to get that from you they're trying to take that from you maybe you have like like a lot of nice things and that person wants to steal that they want that energy they want what you have Clarifying the Hermit card is the Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely a Virgo involved here. Or you may have Virgo highly aspected in your chart. Eight of Pentacles, someone who works a lot. Someone who worked their ass off and they go home. They don't do nothing else. Work, go home. Work, go home. Work, go home. <laughs> and then they save up all their money too. They don't even spend it. Maybe you're that type of person. Or you're dealing with that type of person. I feel like that type of person is who is protecting you or who needs protection. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is the Nine of Swords. Yeah, most definitely. There's a Virgo here or someone who works under you or works beside you who is full of anxiety. Or this could be you. Put yourself where you go. Someone here who works a lot and keeps to themselves. is full of anxiety. Sleepless nights. Um, nine of cups because they wish to just keep working okay so that's what this person wants this person wants your work ethic or they want this virgo's work ethic there's someone here who wants your work ethic or someone's work ethic they want to be able to work like this virgo i feel like this virgo works for you and they want this virgo because this virgo works hard as hell they just do the work and go home this person works for you this could be your assistant or secretary or part of your glam squad or whatever this person works for you and they work hard they want your they want this person they want to steal them away from you clarifying the seven of wands it's the justice card libra yeah you're protected the death card scorpio with new urgency spirit is telling you to put copyright um contracts and things in place so no one can take that away from you because with the death card clarifying the seven of wands it's like someone wants to put an end to a contract or put an end to you protect yourself put cameras up um make someone take some self-defense classes make sure you're protected at all times got cameras everywhere because with the death card and seven of wands it's like someone you are protect your um creations are protected the people who work for you can't be taken from you what you do and create can't be taken from you. This person wants to put an end with the death card to your contract, to the copyright. They want to put an end to your protection. They're jeopardized. They're trying to jeopardize that with new urgency. So they're telling you to act now, act fast. Because someone's trying to be slick and do it quickly without you knowing. Yeah, with the justice card. I mean, justice is going to be served though. Over energy, strength, Leo. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You got nothing to worry about. But I'm, I just feel as though if there's any safety precautions you can put in place so that this person can't steal your work or steal your this person from you or your ideas from you, do that ASAP. Because this person with new urgency and cunning, this person may even sneak into your office. Like for a brief second, you walk out your office to go use the bathroom and you don't lock it because you're coming right back. This person going to break in and steal the blueprint blueprint right off your desk. Or they going to come in and take a picture of it and leave. It's the second and moment you think you're good. I'm coming right back in like a second so it don't matter. I'm going to leave this unlocked. I'm going to leave this out. I'm going to leave this open. Never do that. This person going to take a picture or they going to bribe your artist, your friend, and try to get the information out of them. If it's not necessary, don't don't even tell this Virgo because they may accidentally spill the beans to this person. They may accidentally tell this person more than they need to know. So if, if it's on a need to know basis, keep it on a need to know basis. If the Virgo don't need to know what's going on, don't let them know because then they won't accidentally tell someone else. Yeah, this person is trying to steal your ideas, your the people who work for you, your blueprint, all that. 
but I feel like it could be a fire sign. I said fire. <laughs> My country accent be popping out sometimes. It could be a Leo for some of you. It could be a Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, a strong Virgo here. Like I keep saying, Scorpio could be another Pisces for some of you, but I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. She does commission work, so check her out. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.